The increased uh, penetration of the mobile brings market tiers overarching the opportunities for tech-enabled, user-friendly features. With newer formats like camera marketing coming up, marketeers are now looking to leverage augmented reality or AR to gain popularity amongst audiences and who better to speak about it than an app that is a specialist and has taken the younger audiences by storm. But we're talking about having Prasanna Raman, the business expansion lead at Snap Inc, who's gonna share Snap stories in the session, Augmented Reality, the new business reality. Well, with this, I'd like to humbly welcome on the stage and screen, uh, Mr. Raman, thank you for your valuable time. Great to have you, how are you doing today? Good, Raman, thank you so much for having me. Pleasure. So we're looking forward to your session. Now let's get that started. Over to you. Awesome. Bhavna, I'd like for you to confirm if you can see my screen all right. Yes, we can. We can. Awesome. Great. Uh, firstly, thanks so much, everyone, for joining us for this session on augmented reality. Uh, over the last year, I've been working very closely with some of our top advertisers uh, in India and helped them achieve business goals using Snapchat's camera marketing solutions. I think for the longest time, a lot of advertisers were like, hey, I don't have a budget for Kodak. So why would I have a camera marketing solution budget specifically? But then we had built proof points over the year for us to be able to prove to brands that camera marketing actually delivers great results. And with that context, um, this has become an integral part of our lives uh, on where we spend our time. So increasingly, brands are discovering impactful ways they can connect with their customers uh, and develop authentic immersive experiences to drive their business objectives through the camera. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of camera marketing, the power of cutting through and building experiences, not just ad exposures. I am Prasanna Raman and Business Expansion Lead for Snapchat India. And that's like an official way of saying, I work with brands such as yourself or your clients to help them demystify and appreciate the magic and the utility of augmented reality and other Snapchat ad formats to be precise. With that context, um, in India specifically, um, currently we are over 100 million users on a monthly active basis. So unlike other apps that open to a feed, Snapchat opens to a camera, which is the heart and the soul of a Snapchat experience. And this is where people communicate visually, exactly the way they like it, and where people share almost 5 billion snaps per day. You can add GIFs, stickers, bitmojis, and all kinds of context and expression to your snaps right there in the camera. And that's what these 100 million plus people do uh, in India on a regular basis with Snapchat. Uh, I understand that not everybody on this call would be familiar with Snapchat, the app as a consumer, uh, but I know most of you would be. But for the uninitiated, let's look at the full Snapchat experience from a consumer's perspective, right? This is Snapchat, essentially, if you go into the app right now. So I'm going to take you to uh, Snapchat in a super quick single slide tour. Uh, with this, you can you know um, understand what Snapchat feels like for a consumer when they open the app. You can take what you do in the camera and chat with friends. So essentially, if you break it down, that's what Snap and chat means, right? Or you can post to the map um, and share a real-time view of what's happening. You can add to your story to keep your friends up to date. Uh, or you can sit back, relax, and watch and learn on Discover, where mobile video consumption is picking up with every pass passing day. So essentially what you see here is uh, the four different tabs that we have spoken about so far. And the fifth and the newest tab on Snapchat is a tab where you can post to Spotlight to participate in a bigger world of creative talents. So in this tab, uh, the most creative and engaging content from the community is featured and they also stand a chance to you know win big using the uh, the kind of content that they put uh, in this so like you can see it's not it's camera is at the center of not just this slide but everything that snapchat does with that context right 
our at snap our camera is well known for fun playful and expressive experiences like you can see on the screen right so there's so much fun stuff that's happening where you know with flowers blooming and you know birds coming in or in certain other cases you know we let a dinosaur cross roads in mumbai uh, so that's all the fun stuff that snap camera can definitely do and i'm sure a lot of you have experienced these but that's not all that Snapchat does, right? As you may know, it can also be used to inspire Snapchatters to try and buy, whether it's shoes, bags, clothes, makeup, jewelry, or interior design. With Snap AR, you can shorten the gap between virtual and in real life experiences. This makes shopping super easy, better, and absolutely customized and personalized like you can see in this example, which is a shoe try-on uh, lens plus plus. And to democratize creation of augmented reality experiences, so we have um, two solutions between Lens Studio and Lens Fair Builder. These are two of our augmented reality development tools, and we are democratizing the creation of AR using these tools, and we are taking to the hands of anybody, like literally anybody that wants to create an augmented reality experience. Uh, first, touching upon Lens Web Builder, uh, it's incredibly easy to use. Um, and as you saw, um, you know, earlier, it's, it's, you know, it's like pretty straightforward for someone to use Lens Web Builder. Um, so brands and agencies can build branded AR experience with pre-populated templates and absolutely no coding experience is necessary. Uh, you can choose from a library of hundreds of 3D objects, animations, and effects to build your own custom branded AR lens. You can also upload your own 2D assets, such as logos and images, to further customize the AR experience. The templates and interface are intuitive to use and, and navigate because um, we build a foundation with uh, your businesses in mind. So you don't have to start from scratch or you don't have to pick up an additional skill uh, you know, to be able to build this AR. The same holds true for Lens Studio as well. While we built a Lens Studio for a much more enhanced lens creation, it doesn't make it any more difficult to start with. It also has built-in features, including templates, custom shaders, and advanced tracking technology. The possibilities are just endless. Uh, in fact, we have seen creators churn out lenses in less than 15 minutes and lenses which are super cool and very, very engaging. So creating an augmented reality experience is not rocket science anymore because Snapchat has democratized the creation of augmented reality lenses using these two tools that we just spoke about. And when it comes to production, there are a range of creative approaches and complexities based on your brand's needs and also other factors, including objectives, timing, and budgets, right? So if you have a campaign coming in two weeks from now, the level of complexity that we can achieve in the lens is limited. But when you are talking about a campaign coming in the next quarter or in a month from now, it's, you know, obviously you can do a much complex build of an augmented reality lens. Um, so there are different levels of complexities, like what you can see in this slide. So some of them are you know, which, which can be made real quick and some of them do take time. And I'm going to talk, talk through some of these examples in the slides to come. So now moving to the big question, which is, can Snap Augmented Reality drive business results for your brand? Now that you understand how AR has been demystified and democratized by Snap, I would like to talk about why is AR important for your brand? I'll pause for a second and have you just take this in, right? To help you get a scale of, uh, uh, of things that's there here, there are a few numbers that you can see on your screen. AR is actually a daily habit on Snapchat, right? For Snapchatters, you know, it's like a part of their life and it doesn't feel like a, a forced innovation. And you can transform your face and your space around you in the world lens. And you can play with animals who, who can sit, sit on your shoulder. Uh, you can light up night sky using sky segmentation. 
Um, and we can create some of these exper experiences internally as well within Snapchat and also uh, work with some independent creators around the world. So almost around 1.5 million lenses have been created using Lens Studio by our creative community. So that's the kind of scale of, uh, of the kind of demystifying that we have done with Snapchat tools that we have. Uh, moving to specifically, how does Snatch uh, AR capture attention? So in this case, it's talking about augmented reality-based experiences vis-a-vis -vis all other experiences. So AR actually helps your brand build experiences and not just exposures. This is something that we saw earlier. So, you know, somebody is watching some content which is important to them and we interrupt that content and showcase something to them, which is a brand puts out. However, when it comes to augmented reality, the experience is so, such that they voluntarily decide to place themselves in an augmented reality based experience sponsored by the brand. And that results in the user, uh, in this case, an augmented reality uh, you know, user. Um, these AR experiences actually manage to capture two times the consumer attention than all other communication formats. And the reason is pretty intuitive, right? Because of all the reasons that we just mentioned. And if you ask me, uh, around two years ago, we used to talk about using augmented reality as a means of making your brand future ready or trying out some innovation, right? But this study done in India shows that augmented reality is here and now. While we have, you know, all the other numbers, I would like to specifically uh, call your attention towards one specific number, which is, um, you know, interacting with products that have an AR experience actually results in um, a 94% higher conversion rate um, than all other forms of communication. Isn't that amazing? Like, it's, it's great news for a brand because the moment you use augmented reality, you know that people are going to pay 2x the attention and also so much more likely to be able to convert um, for their product or service. To be honest, Snapchat ads is not just augmented reality. In fact, when I was giving you guys the, uh, the quick one slide tour of what Snapchat, the app looks like for a user, um, our advertising products exactly mirrors the Snapchat user behavior or consumer behavior. So when consuming content, Snapchatters are served Snap ads or commercial ads between the user stories uh, or while watching content which is uh, which is premium in nature on the mobile content section of Snapchat. Uh, Snapchatters can also choose to consume content from a brand through story ads, so which essentially appears like a tile uh, on the story section of Snapchat. And that allows for longer storytelling and resides along our curated content in the form of a tile which can be tapped on to be able to open more things. Uh, for those creating snaps, we have lenses and filters. So now we are talking about the camera side of the user behavior. So we are exactly, so like I said earlier, we are exactly mirroring the user behavior and giving you advertising options on both sides of the user behavior. One is on the content side, the other one is on the camera side. Moving to the camera side of things, right? One, uh, lenses is possible for, for a brand to have sponsored lenses. Uh, and these lenses are, like we discussed earlier, or augmented reality experience from Snapchat, and it can be used by brands to um, build engagement. Um, and, you know, and it kind of becomes a shareable augmented reality experience with your friends. And similarly, filters are creative overlays. Uh, essentially, I want to think of, I want you to think of filters like stickers, right? So these can be used to add context or some humor or just you know, simply to creatively elevate the snap that you've already taken. And these can be branded filters as well. And these are very easy on production and it can deliver great brand awareness for your campaign and stuff. So now that we have spoken about all ad options, I'm going to deep dive into augmented reality as, as an ad advertising solution. It's true that augmented reality is just one part of the strategy but it's an incredible way to increase your impact of your ad campaign. So campaigns that add AR to their videos 
um, you know, increase the reach of the campaign by around 31%. Uh, and what it also does is it results in a two times the uh, effectiveness of the campaign. Uh, so therefore adding to the efficacy of the campaign as well, both in terms of uh, the reach it delivers and also in terms of ad effectiveness. So that's the kind of uh, uh, force multiplier effect that Snapchat augmented reality had along with the other um, you know, ad formats that fair on Snapchat. So here is a study that was done recently where you know it's, it's kind of an analysis where we recommend that you always deploy different ad formats while running an always on or a seasonal campaign. Uh, what you see here is essentially data that Kantar has put together, which is a meta study of multiple brand lift studies that was that was done in a specific region across a period of time. And what we see that uh, what we see there is essentially different ad formats together deliver stronger brand results across all key brand lift metrics, um, along with ad formats such as commercials and lenses, than just having an ad, you know, just having a video or a still ad format. So so the, the, the essence of this slide is always go for multiple ad formats, like we saw in the slide, a few slides earlier about the different ad formats. So always ensure that you are putting out ads both on the content side of Snap and also on the creation side of Snap. Now, specifically, when you talk about lenses, uh, just see what amazing impact is delivered when you add augmented reality to your advertising mix. Uh, I think I would call out the 58 percentage point higher ad awareness when AR is introduced into the mix, uh, you know, your attention towards that, because the relevancy across the overall campaign itself shoots up the moment you add augmented reality into the mix. Um, and the most powerful combination of ad products are leveraging the camera and the consumption products together in tandem at every stage of your campaign. All right, so we have spoken about how we have demystified augmented reality. We spoke about how AR is important for your brand, but what about amplification of AR? Uh, in terms of distribution or amplification, brands are able to pay for impressions directly into the camera with Snapchat. So when you're paying for an impression, it's not a, it's not a view in feed where somebody has to swipe up to activate the lens or in some cases filter but this is an actual play of your lens, your branded lens straight into the camera, right? So we feature the same buying flexibility as a standard video, which includes uh, the bidding, reach and frequency, and also an impact buy in the form of national takeover so that we can meet all of your objectives. Uh, and promoting a lens is, may not, need not be an expensive affair. It could be, you know, with a small budget as well, considering we also have biddable lenses with which you're able to promote for as, as little or as much as you want to, you know, to promote the lens. So here's a quick example of how, um, you know, like the lens ads appear and here it's super personalized, right? So actually the lens picks the face of a user and, you know, ensures that it shows up in the user experience. So, Obviously, nobody is going to skip an ad unit which features them, right? So, which is clearly why augmented reality is working so well. All right, with that context in mind, I would like to go into some success stories of what we have managed to achieve with augmented reality for brands. Um, so, before we jump into success stories specifically, I would like to just showcase this specific real life example of how simple lens studio templates are in action right so this is a popular organic lens which was built by you know a lens developer called serene q uh, using lens studio and it attaches a crocodile to your foot right so uh, while this looks extremely technical and complicated it's actually powered by our shoe try on template right so we give somebody a template to be able to you know to help people try on shoes, but somebody has decided to put a crocodile to somebody's foot, but the use case absolutely remains the same. So this is something which can be created in a, in a fraction of a few minutes. Um, and 
the same technology which is available on snapchat was used by a brand like in a super super smart way and here is what they did so that template which we spoke about earlier where we saw crocodile in the previous example uh, so that's the technology behind the sponsored shoe try on lens campaign uh, by this athletic footwear company hoka one one so as a consumer trends shift to more virtual try ons this brand hoka one one wanted to encourage shoppers to try on their new running shoes without needing to leave their living room right so to make this scalable um they used shoe try on template in lens studio to help build out their 3d ar experiences so once they once this was complete they delivered the lens to their target audiences using paid media and remember this paid lenses appears right into the users snapchat as this camera so which means it's a very seamless experience and look at what the lens did for the brand the share rate of uh, hoka 11's lens was nearly six times the snapchat retail benchmark and with an 82% more efficient cost per share versus the snap retail benchmark so people just love using this lens and obviously you know i think the first and foremost reason for so much share is i mean everybody loves their own feet so and they they like to try on different shoes and they like to share this experience so it's super cool for someone to be able to do that and for the brand to be able to build this lens you know in a jiffy and promote it efficiently right into the camera of snapchat users in india uh, in this case uh, globally as well um, india brings me closer home to an example of what we did with one of the tech oem brands in india so one plus came to us with a question around how the tech oem can help indians celebrate diwali during the lockdown take a look at what we crafted for them in this film All right, so the results are here for you to see uh, and the kind of uh, impact that we have had uh, in this specific campaign. And the reason for that is augmented reality, like all the data points that we saw earlier, resulted in nine point lift in ad awareness and seven point message awareness because the lens was super uh, immersive and people loved using this lens to be able to wish their uh, friends uh, for Diwali uh, during the lockdown. So there are a few more examples, um, you know, in this case. So essentially, what you know we are seeing here is uh, a case of uh, uh, ITC India using uh, for for their specific brand, which is Yippie Noodles. Uh, they uh, they wanted us to deliver brand association for their mood masala variant, and we delivered just that using a mood meter AR lens experience. And the results are here for you to see. So essentially. the point that we are making with all these lens examples is that we fundamentally believe that every business needs a camera strategy ultimately we don't want to be just your advertising partner or just help you come up with cool face filters uh, we want to help transform the way you use camera for your business to solve real problems sometimes that's with the marketing team other times it's with operations and merchandising uh, independent of what the case may be we can help you deliver fun useful convenient and extremely hard working experiences for your customers and for your brand so we have the largest community of augmented reality users at you know with snapchat so this far of future of ar being integrated into our daily lives is here and now and it's embedded into the culture of snapchat generation so with that um thank you very much from both my bit moji and i um yeah thank you so much for your time thank you so much uh, mr raman for that wonderful presentation we thoroughly enjoyed thank you once again for joining us
My pleasure. Thank you for having me.